Hi, and thanks for checking out the video. This is Legs and Boot Workout. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment after the video. Please make sure you've warmed up before you begin any exercise routine. Uh, you're going to need some sort of resistance today, dumbbells, kettlebell, or resistance band. And we're looking at 2 to 4 sets of 8 to 12 reps. Our first superset will be a straight leg deadlift and a hang squat. All right, I'll be demoing those in two seconds. So here we go, guys. So real simple, okay, this is a straight leg deadlift. Back straight, head up. The feet are square, knees are soft, and we're gonna hip hinge back. That means we're gonna stick our glutes out towards the back until we can't lean over any further without bending our back. And then we want to drive back up through the glutes, making sure to keep the back straight, isolating the glute muscles for each of the movements, okay? Uh, I'm using two kettlebells there. I haven't got heavy enough kettlebells, so. Uh, but you can do this with a resistance band placed under your feet and pulling up both handles in the center. Or you can do it with a hung uh, dumbbell, okay? Hold yourself a dumbbell in the center or even two. Next exercise is a hang squat. So slightly different than the last exercise, we're actually squatting right down, bending the knees and using the quadriceps for this one. Okay guys, back straight, head up. And the dumbbell is literally hanging uh, from our hands straight down towards the floor. You don't want to bend your elbows in this one, okay? Don't allow the shoulders or arms to do any of the work. We are purely working on the leg muscles for this uh, workout and you are uh, using the core as well to keep yourself upright and rest okay 10 seconds rest guys okay give your legs a shake give your arms a shake we're gonna do these exercises again here we go so feet square knees soft back straight head up weight hanging directly between the legs keep those arms straight just let the weight hang down the hands are basically hooks for the weight um, it's really important to push your chest forward um, I like to say to people to always try to train the way you want to look when you're standing normally so um, you're not rounding your back off uh, you're not getting rounded shoulders your head is up your chest is forward your shoulders are back you want to look confident especially at the standing point of every exercise um, so as you're doing this one, it's only a softening of the knees and then you push the glutes back and that's all that happens in this exercise. Okay, hang squat, same basis, okay? Chest forward. See at the bottom there, I'm pushing my chest forward. The only thing that's moving in any direction, the horizontal direction, is my glutes going backwards. My knees uh, are trying to stay where they are. I don't want my knees to go forwards at all. And I want to drive back and put this one purely in my core and in my glutes. Okay, and obviously in the uh, quadriceps as well for a squat. Okay, back straight, head up. 10 seconds rest. Get that rest in, guys. Get a few breaths. Okay, we're going on to third set, final set of these. So, slightly different angle so you can see the exercise. So, I was talking about the... Uh, what bends and what doesn't bend. So the back straight head is up, as I keep saying. Uh, I've got the middle toe in line with the heel. That's the second toe. And we're pushing the glutes back, softening the knees very slightly on the lowering portion and then straightening the legs out at the top so we can really squeeze into the glutes. So soften, straighten. Soften the knees, straighten them completely, okay? You want to make sure that your knees get softened so we don't put too much of the stretch into the upper hamstrings, all right? Just push your glutes back, soften your knees very slightly, and then squeeze all the way up through the glutes and straighten your legs. Great job. Okay, down to our squat. So the weight is hanging directly between my knees. My uh, glutes going back. Okay, I'm arching my back very slightly, keeping my shoulders back and head up. And we're squatting right down. So hopefully you can really see the difference between these two exercises, but they're a very similar area, okay? So you might feel a bit taxed after these. Uh, if you're using dumbbells, you can hold two dumbbells facing each other in each hand. Uh, but if you've got a larger dumbbell, obviously you can hang it, or obviously a kettlebell. And as I said, you can also do it with a resistance band.
and 10 seconds of rest. Time to change exercises. These are our second set of exercises for this workout. Hopefully you're keeping up and uh, gotta start getting those results. Here we go, superset, glute bridge and body weight jump lunges. Yes, jump lunges, getting a cardio exercise. And a leg exercise in there too. So here we go guys. Um, if you don't have a bench, you can do this one on the floor. Um, but I do find having an edge or step these off uh, can allow you a bit more uh, movement and you can really um, get this exercise right to the okay? uh, so step, um, a sofa, a chair, a good sturdy chair, but obviously always be safe guys. Make sure it's secure whatever you're trying to do this exercise off. Uh, some people cl complain of discomfort in this one. Uh, you want to make sure your uh, upper shoulders are taking most of the weight, okay? It's not in the middle of your back, and it's not definitely not on your neck, okay? It's across the meatier part of your back and shoulders for this one. All right. Good job, guys. Okay, keep that going. All right, change to jump lunges. So what I'm doing today, a little variation, is a double pump jump lunge. So I'm doing two pumps on each leg and switching each time, okay? We're just gonna do this um, until the end of the round. I did about 10 of these, five on each leg. It's quite nice to do a double pump because um, it lets you spend a little bit more time in the actual lunge rather than jumping from one side to the other so fast that you're not really getting that proper uh, lunge in, okay? These are double pump lunges um, with a jump switch, all right? Or jump lunges, double pump. 10 seconds rest. How are we doing? We doing good? Still alive? Cursing my name? Most likely. All right, here we go, guys. So glute bridge again. So I've got the um, dumbbell I was using. I've got about a 20K there uh, on my hips. Okay, and I'm holding it in place with my hands. Um, if you've got uh, a, a smaller dumbbell, then uh, you can use that. But uh, obviously, the more weight the more resistance and this is a, a bit more of a muscle building workout so uh, you know try and get as much weight in there as you can if you're just doing it with your own body weight maybe double your reps uh, or do them a little quicker so you're really getting that burn uh, in the glutes and keep that mind to muscle okay it's very easy for your back and things to take over in here concentrate on your glutes and squeeze each time <laughs> jump lunges okay we got a double pump so one two jump one Two, jump, you got it, okay? Back straight, head up. I'm alternating my arms to keep myself balanced. Some people find this easier. Some people find the coordination too much. If you find the coordination too much, use your um, hands on your hips, okay? That'll help you balance too. 10 seconds rest. Take your rest. Last set, guys, so give it hell on this one, okay? If you're keeping up, you've done really, really well. And here we go. Okay, I've, I've added the uh, how I got down into this one. Sometimes people have a bit of trouble getting into position with this one. So here we go. Glute bridge, push the hips up. Also sometimes known as a hip thrust, this one. The feet are square. Uh, you wanna make sure your heels and toes are in line, not turning your toes out or in. Your knees are as wide as your feet. And we're driving up through those glutes. Keep your neck relaxed. I like to keep my head up in this one. Some people like to drop it back. Driving up through your glutes, squeeze at the top, little pause at the top, and then lower back down. Up, squeeze, and lower. Up, squeeze, lower. Okay, really good, guys. Uh, just get yourself one or two more of these in. Almost there. And there you go. And there is a dismount as well, okay? Here we go. Double pump, jump lunge. Double pump jump lunge okay great job everybody um uh, this was a, a a tough workout uh nobody really likes leg day but it is really important that you're doing your legs as well as your upper body um you burn a lot more calories when you do lower body exercises because of the larger amount of body you have to move and uh, of course the leg muscles are some of the largest ones in the body so there's definitely more energy being used when you're doing those exercises Plus also it balances out the body to make sure you've got a strong upper body, midsection and lower body. Hopefully you've enjoyed the workout, now it's over and please make sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Thanks guys.